Well, what we have is we have a range of testosterone levels and nobody really is sure what constitutes a low testosterone level. There's no agreement. All of the labs have actually different um, numbers that they use. So I specifically was looking at men with borderline testosterone levels, which are at the lower end of the range. I found out if you looked at 200 men who have borderline low testosterone levels, defined as 200 to 350 nanograms per deciliter, 56% of these men will have depressive symptoms on a validated depression screen and or a known diagnosis of, de of depression or they're using an antidepressant. And this rate is much higher than that of the general population, which is about 5 to 25%. A lot of this is probably because men are having testosterone levels checked because they have a symptom, such as fatigue um, or erectile dysfunction, low libido. So this is a select group of men seeking care for borderline testosterone levels. So it, so it probably cannot be generalized to men in a general population just who do have borderline testosterone levels. The screening is typically a fasting morning blood test and if the level comes back low you always need to repeat it because testosterone levels do vary throughout the day. Well, I think it's important that men with borderline testosterone levels uh, get depression treated uh, if they're not under treatment. It also turns out that this population has a very high rate of obesity and sedentary lifestyle and lack of exercise so helping to treat those conditions um, can certainly increase their overall health. Testosterone formulations exist in a lot of topical ones like, like gels and patches that you put on your skin but there's also injections into the muscles and there's a uh, buckle testosterone uh, that you put on, on the gums and there's uh, implantable testosterone pellets as well. I mean, the thing about testosterone is we only really check it if people do present with, with symptoms. So it's not something that we would just screen everybody for. But if people do have symptoms, then it's reasonable to do a screen. And if the testosterone level is definitively low, then we would usually recommend treatment because the benefits would usually outweigh the risks. The data is really mixed. If you look at depressed men and if you give them testosterone, some studies show that there's no change. Some studies show that it does help some men. So it's quite inconsistent, but I wouldn't recommend testosterone testosterone is the main treatment for depression. I would use more, more things like cognitive therapy or established antidepressants.